Hi, good morning. My name's Trevlin Jones and I want to welcome you to the Keep Fat Club. If this is your first time on, on this uh, Facebook page, well, thanks for finding us. Thanks for joining us. This morning, uh, I want to talk to you about how do we know how much sugar or carbohydrates that we're eating when we eat food and what does it mean and how does it affect our bodies? Well, I'll start off here with, with some information that was created by a doctor, a UK-based doctor, Dr. David Unwin, who is based in Southport, and he created these nice little charts here. Um, they're infographics which explain our foods. That makes quite a difference to our blood sugar levels. You can get these if you go online and type in David Unwin um, infographics. I'm sure that they'll come up for you. And the banana has got 4.9 teaspoonfuls of sugar. And people say, well, I need banana for my potassium. Yeah, you need potassium. But in order to get your daily allowance of potassium, you'd have to eat about 15 bananas. So how much sugar will you be putting into your body? Okay. So how do we, how do we know how much sugar we're, we're going to be eating when we go and buy food at the shops? When we go shopping, and if you buy tin foods, there's a system now called the traffic light system, which is shown here. And that's meant to give you useful information. So it says here that there's 4.4 grams of fat, um, 2.6 grams of saturated, 19.6 grams of sugar, and salt is 0.2 grams. And the sugar is orange just at 22%. But you can't go off this here. What you have to do is turn the can and find the information that's written in the small print on the back here. And for this particular product the carbohydrates per 100 grams is 18 grams and there's 400 grams of product in here so that's 64 grams four grams is equal to one teaspoonful of sugar so there's um 15 15 teaspoonfuls of sugar 15 teaspoonfuls of sugar in that tin there unbelievable let's look at something else sainsbury's broccoli and stilton Again, they've got um, the traffic light system on here somewhere, if I can find it. It's on the front there. There's the traffic light system, but we don't want to be looking at that. We want to be looking for the actual content itself, and this is, this is shown differently. But if you look on the tin, you'll find it. It has to be there. And here, it says that the carbohydrate here, per half can, is 8.4 grams of sugar. So that's 8.4, 2 two Two teaspoonfuls of sugar, so there's four teaspoonfuls of sugar in there. That's not bad. That's not bad. If we compare that with something like um, marmalade, I love marmalade. Who doesn't like marmalade? And the information here, again, if you look on the back, we can see. And for this marmalade, 100 grams is 58 grams of carbohydrate. Now underneath it says which sugars. Don't take any notice of the witch sugars, just look at the bigger number for the carbohydrates. So here we've got 58 grams, we'll call it 60. Again, that's 15 teaspoonfuls of sugar per 100 grams. And in here there's 450 grams, a lot of sugar in there. And you might say, well, I only put a thin slice on my toast, thin spread of marmalade. But it all adds up because the carbohydrate that's in your toast and this mounts up and you maybe have two or three slices of toast. Um, let's have a look at something else, burgers. Now, at this time of lockdown, you've probably got a lot of food in your house that you bought with good intent. On the side here, we've got the traffic light system. Again, I think these are all in blue. These are all in blue, they are. Um, but the real information that we want is found on the back of the can here. And it's going to tell me how many carbohydrates here. 8.8 .8 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams. And there's 420 grams in there so that's 32 grams divide that by four um 432 um that's 15 no it's not it's seven spoonfuls of sugar just over seven spoonfuls of sugar in there right i like i like cooking indian food garlic and ginger paste so the traffic light system on the back here we don't want to be looking at that the real information we want is on the side of the bottle here and it's telling me that this particular product has got 4.4 grams that's one teaspoonful of sugar per 15 gram serving so i would probably use 
um, a generous um, dessert spoonful of this garlic paste. So I am putting some carbohydrates into my curry, but by the time it's spread out, it's 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 there's nothing there really. This is 2.4 grams of carbohydrates per 15 gram. So you know we don't want to get too over overboard with this. Let's look at the stuff that we cook with. I, I like to fry and cook with coconut oil. I use butter, I use lard. I wouldn't use any vegetable oils at all, but that's another subject. Okay, the carbohydrates in here, zero. Zero, so you can cook with that. Don't worry about the fat. People say, oh, well, I've been told that eating fat will make, will make you fat, will give you a heart attack, clog your arteries up. Don't go there, forget it. It's for another day. Here, this is peeled plum tomatoes. Who likes tomatoes? We all like tomatoes, I do. And again, we've got the traffic light system, all green for go. But let's have a look on the back here. Let's see what it says. And on the back here it says carbohydrate 3.8 grams of which sugars 3.8. But like I said, don't worry about of which sugars. Because you can be misled into thinking that because it says of which sugars, that it's okay to use it. Well, just go off, just go off the main carbohydrate. Um, bolognese sauce. The information's on the back there for you. So always, always look at the labels when you're shopping. When you go shopping, you pick something up. Just don't think that's good for me. Have a look. Carbohydrates in here per 100 grams, 7.6, and there's 500 grams. That's, so that's 35 grams of carbohydrate in the whole thing. Divide that by four, that's seven, just over seven. Okay, eight. Yeah, eight, eight teaspoonfuls of sugar in there. But if you're putting that into a sauce, it's going to be divided between people. So I like pork scratchings. Who doesn't like pork scratchings? Well, no, my wife doesn't like them. But these, these again, I use these because they're very, very low in carbohydrates, mega low in carbohydrates. Here, carbohydrates, 0.1 grams per 100 grams. And I can't even say how much there is in here, but hardly nothing. Nothing at all. No. Here's a bigger packet here. This has got 70 grams of pork scratchings in here, and the carbohydrates per 100 grams is 0.2. So nothing to worry about there. A good friend of mine, Rodney Roop, in, um, in Iowa, in America, he sent me these pork scratchings here. So if you're watching this, Rodney, howdy. Um, these have got zero carbohydrates in them. But again, whether it's 0 0.2, 0 0.1 or zero, it's okay to eat them. Don't worry about it. Now then, let's go back to these tables again this this chart here which was put together by dr david unwin i would recommend that you go on the internet look up dr david unwin infographics and you can download these and this will help you so one, one other thing i wanted to to talk to you about was um was eating fish a lot of people say that you should eat fish because it's got omega-3 in it again this is really really good i like tin fish because it's easy it keeps well and I'm just going to try and see what it says on here. Go on, tell me where it is. Do you know what? It doesn't actually say what it is on this one here. Let's, let's find something else. Yeah, here's another one. These macro fillets, which I get from Little. That's got information on the back there. And the carbohydrate in here per 100 grams, 2.6 grams. Okay, and it's got your omega-3 on there, which is good for you. So, take care with what you're doing. Just, just be vigilant. If you want to lose weight, you've got to get healthy. And the easiest way to get healthy is to keep off the sugars. Keep off foods that cause your uh, insulin levels in your body to rise. Keep off the carbohydrates. Keep them down. Don't worry about eating fat. Find out more off our Facebook page, Keep Fat Club and stay with us on this and uh, we just want to help inspire and encourage you to do the right things to so take care of yourself have a fabulous day and remember don't go out stay home stay safe god bless you all bye